This is another SIE exam preparation video brought to you by SIE Professor, affordable training for securities industry careers. Looking for help on how to pass the SIE exam? We provide SIE exam prep for anyone that needs help with their SIE exam study program. This video includes five SIE exam practice questions and answers to help with your SIE exam review. This video is a little bit different though. Options can be a tricky subject, so we decided to focus one of our practice question videos solely on options. Don't forget to click subscribe in the bottom right corner to automatically receive new videos as they are published. And like this video if you find the content helpful. Our YouTube channel has lots of SIE exam practice questions for you to review, with more SIE exam practice question videos added on Monday each week. Thanks for watching. Grab a pen and a piece of paper to write down your answers as you watch the video. I will read the questions first, pause for you to make your answer selection, then go on to the next question. To better simulate the, the actual SIE exam, we will review the content answer responses after you have answered all of the questions. Let's get started with the first SIE exam practice question. SIE exam practice question number one. You currently hold 10 XYZ January 85 puts. At what price does XYZ security need to trade at for the January puts to be considered away from or out of the money? A, $10, B, $80, C, $85, or D, $88? Pause here to consider the choices and mark your answer. Let's move on to the next question. SIE exam practice question number two. When an option writer flattens an existing options position by purchasing an option, this is called A or an opening sale, closing sale, opening purchase, or closing purchase. Pause here to consider the choices. Let's move on to the next question. SIE exam practice question number three. A or an blank in price of the underlying security makes the blank options more valuable. Increase put and call, decrease call, C decrease put and call, or D increase call. Pause here to consider the choices and mark your answer. Let's move on to the next question. SIE exam practice question number four. Traditionally, listed options expire when? A, third Friday of each month, B, fourth Friday of each month, C, third Thursday of each month, or D, fourth Thursday of each month. Pause here to consider your choices and mark your answer. Let's move on to the next question. SIE exam practice question number five. A customer buys two WVU March 56 puts for a $4 premium. At the same time, the customer buys 200 shares of WVU stock at $56 per share. At expiration, the customer will break even when the stock is selling at what share price? $51, $55, $60, or $60. Pause here to consider your choices and mark your answer. That is the last of our five questions. Now let's go back and review the correct answers and explanations. SIE exam practice question number one, answer. A put option owner makes money with a decrease in the price of the underlying security. The underlying security in this question is XYZ. The strike price is the price at which the option can be exercised, in this case, $85. Since an owner of a put option makes money when the price decreases below the strike price, a put owner's option will be out of the money when the underlying securities price is above the strike price. The answer is D. SIE exam practice question and answer for number two. Flattening a position simply means getting neutral, neither long or short, nor able to make money if the underlying security goes up or down. The closing purchase is the way to do that. 
and closing sale means buying back an earlier options position than you sold. Opening sales and purchases are your initial purchase or sale in that option. The answer is D. Before we move on to the next question, please leave a comment if you would like to see questions about specific SIE exam prep topics. We will build your feedback into future videos. Now, let's move on to the answer and explanations for question number three. SIE exam practice question and answer for number three. Call options are in the money when the underlying securities price is above the strike price. When the underlying securities price increases, the cost of the option goes up and is more, as it is more likely to be exercised, making it more valuable. Put options are more valuable when the price of the underlying security decreases. The answer is D. SIE exam practice question and answer for number four. Listed options traditionally expire on the third Friday of every month. This is one you just have to memorize. The answer is A. Our last question is the toughest options question yet, so stay with me. But before we finish with our last SIE exam practice question, don't forget to click subscribe in the bottom right corner of this video to automatically receive new videos as they are published. And like this video if you find the content helpful. We publish new SIE exam practice questions each week. Also, our online SIE exam study course and our hard copy SIE exam study guide are linked in our main YouTube page if you need help in your SIE exam study program. Let's wrap up this video with the answer and explanation for question number five. SIE exam practice questions number five. This is a two-part question. To determine break even, you need to understand when you make or lose money on the option and separately when you make or lose money on the underlying stock. A put option owner makes money when the underlying stop, stock drops below the strike price. If that happens, the underlying stock is worth less. When you add in the premium cost, the investor cannot break even when the stock price drops. When the stock price increases to $60, the investor makes, fit, makes $4 on the underlying stock price appreciation and the put option expires worthless. The option costs $4 though, wiping out the $4 gain on the stock. That makes the answer D. Thanks for watching our SIE exam practice questions video focused on options. Please leave any feedback you have in the comments section about future SIE exam practice questions videos.